Hello students, in this video I will go through the steps to copying a triangle using only a compass and straight edge. Okay, let's take a look. So on a sheet of black paper, what you're going to do is we're going to have to start off with copying a given triangle. So I want you to draw yourself a given triangle and the triangle that you draw I want it to be a scalene triangle just because I want you to see the differences in the side lengths that you are going to uh, that you're about to copy. So I'm going to draw a length like this and I'm going to draw a length like this and I'm going to draw a length like this. Okay, and once you have this triangle drawn, what I want you to do is I want you to label this as A, B, and C. We're going to be copying this. So somewhere else on the uh, bottom half of the paper over here, you're going to place a point right here, and we're going to call that point A prime. So based on your own intuition, which skills do you think we are going to be using to copy this triangle? If you're thinking that we will definitely need to apply the skill of copying a line segment and copying an angle, then you're absolutely right. We'll, we will need to use a combination of those two skills together to accomplish this. So the first thing that we did when we were copying a line segment was from the point, we draw a line, we draw a ray, and this line that I just drew, this ray that I just drew, okay, I have no idea how long that is. I don't know whether or not it's longer or shorter than the length of AC, and it really doesn't matter because I'm going to take my compass, and I'm going to copy the length of AC using my compass. So I place my point, my pin on A, and I open up the compass setting to C prime uh, to C. So there you have it. This length right here is a length of AC. I pick up the compass setting. Do not change it. Keep the pin on A prime, just like we did before. And we're going to draw an arc. On the lines on the on the ray that I drew a moment ago the intersection of the arc and the ray that point of intersection is going to be our C prime so I've just copied one line segment a prime uh, a to C and a prime C prime what we're going to do now is we're going to copy the length of a B and then we're going to copy the length of a C uh, of, of BC so what I'm going to do is the length of BC is this guy right here so I take my compass I place my pin on C and my lead on B I open up the compass to that setting and what I've done now is I've copied or I've opened up the compass so that it's to the opening of BC and I want to do this a little more accurately because I just opened by accident. Here we go. So this length right now is the length of BC. Okay. And what I do is I'm going to pick up the compass setting, right, this length of BC, and I'm going to place it on C prime. And what I do is I am going to draw myself an arc like so. So all the points that are on this arc that I just drew, all the points that are on this arc is going to be a length of BC away from C prime. So again, this length, all the points on the arc is going to be that length away. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my compass and I'm going to measure the length of AB. So the compass setting right now is open to the length of AB. 
I pick up my compass setting and I'm going to place my pin on A and I am going to draw myself an arc and if you notice the arc that I draw will intersect with the arc that I drew a moment ago. The significance of this, this point right here is going to be a distance of AB away from A prime and at the same time it will be a distance of BC away from C prime. So this point, that intersection, I will call B prime. And what I'm going to do with this is connect those two together. And there you have it. This is A, A B, C and a, B, a prime, B prime, C prime copied. So once again, to summarize, we first copied one line segment. Second step, after we copy that one line segment, we copy the length of the second line segment. We draw an arc, but we have no idea what, at what angle to place that line at. We open up our compass setting to measure the length of AB and then we pick up our compass setting again with the length of AB in hand. We draw another arc. The intersection will happen to be the distance that B is away from A and the distance that B is away from C because of the fact that we have two arcs intersecting. We have two different radii here.